Hi everybody! Day number one of this crazy idea, history bedtime stories, to help history education continue in Michigan and Detroit as our public school system closes to help fight the outbreak of coronavirus. So ladies and gentlemen, for our very first day, it happens to be taking place on March 13th, which is of course 313 day. So in our pajamas, live from bed, we thought we'd share the history of 313. It's an area code assigned to the city of Detroit in 1947. Area codes had been thought up seven years earlier out at Bell Laboratories. And Bell Laboratories at this point in American history is a think tank, is a genius epicenter. Men and women with big, great, giant, world-changing ideas were hired by Bell Laboratories. They give us bits of space travel that we still use giant mathematical theories that have helped make things like radar more effective. And in 1940, they partner with AT&T to start designing what at the time they called the North American Numbering Plan, a way of preventing America from running out of telephone numbers. Now in 2020, it's nuts to think about ever running out of telephone numbers, but this was becoming a real concern following World War II. As more and more people are getting individual phone numbers, working away from party lines, those seven digit numbers begin to run out. So as Bell and AT&T see it, we need to have what today we know as area codes. Numbers that can be repeated state to state to state because area codes differentiate them, taking us from seven digits to 10 digits with all possible seven digit combinations being able to be used in each region. Bell originally proposes 86 individual area codes. Some states get one area code to cover the entire state. Those states get a zero as their middle area code number. So Connecticut becomes 203 as example. But at this time, we don't have push button phones. Today, when you dial a push button phone, it doesn't matter if you're hitting a one or a nine, it's the same amount of work. But with a rotary phone, you had to spin the dial and then let it track all the way back. So a nine took longer to dial than a one or a two. So Bell comes up with the idea to assign numbers based on population density, instead of just numerically numbering East Coast to West Coast across America. So the busiest city in the country gets 212, theoretically the easiest area code to dial. That, of course, is New York, but Michigan, Detroit, the arsenal of democracy, the Paris of the Midwest, is a big enough population to justify 313, one of the lowest number area codes possible. Detroit is assigned 313, and it's thought that that number can subside in southeast Michigan for a very long time, covering every possible number. But within about 15 years, it was obvious Flint Ann Arbor, the thumb of Michigan, and of course, Michigan's Upper Peninsula are all going to need their own area codes. As Detroit retains the 313 for Wayne County and the cities of Detroit, Highland Park, and Hamtramck, specifically, 734 is introduced in 1993 to cover surrounding suburbs. So Royal Oak, Berkeley, Sterling Heights all start having to change to the 734 number. With the advent of cell phones and people being able to take a 313 number with them across the country, we're starting to run out again. It's estimated that by the year 2032, we'll be out of 313 numbers to be given to people with new lines. In order to combat that, number 679, a currently on hold escrowed area code has been assigned to Detroit. In 2032, should we run out of numbers, 313 would now share the cities of Detroit, Hamtramck, and Highland Park with 679, which I guess we celebrate on June 7th at 9 p.m. with a Verner's toast. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try our best to come to you every night with a history bedtime story. There'll be links in the comments to give you more information. For those of you who've never seen a rotary dial phone, again, check out the comments. I'll post a photo of exactly what a rotary dial looks like. For all of you rolling your eyes, going who doesn't know what a rotary dial looks like, still check the comments because there, you will have a chance to win. 
a big old pile of City of Detroit stickers if you post for us your best haiku about the 313. Detroit's own. Monday, we'll pick our favorite haiku and we will uh, direct message you for your address and mail over to you a pile of Detroit stickers. In the meantime, good night, wash your hands, and be nice to people.